Hey Geeks, I'm Trey Guillotine, and today I'm geeking out about FX's new superhero show, Legion. Let's geek out. If you haven't already, I highly suggest you check out FX's new superhero show, Legion. From the outset, it doesn't look like a superhero show. It looks a little strange, it looks a little weird, but it is. And it's actually based off X-Men comics. But being based off X-Men comics and X-Men superheroes, that's really the only aspect that's more, that's more in common with a superhero show. Legion focuses a lot more on the drama and the characters of the show rather than really cool action sequences. Don't get me wrong, there are a few really good action sequences. But if you go into the show expecting to see Wolverine slicing people up with claws or Cyclops blasting people away with his eye beams or angels swooping in or even Beast, you're going to be a little disappointed. As far as showing mutants, it's very tame. Most of the characters you see are mutants, but their mutations are very subtle. At least in the first season, we hardly see any mutants that have outward mutations like Beast or Nightcrawler or Mystique. But there are some moments in the shows where you actually see the mutant abilities manifest in the real world that look fantastic. But these moments are very few and far between. And while there are some fighting, most of the action you see is more of a psychological thriller than any kind of actual fighting. The look of the show is also very stylized. Honestly, watching the show, it reminds me of a Wes Anderson movie. I feel like I'm watching The Royal Tenenbaums just with X-Men and mutants. A lot of the sets and clothing look very like 70s or 80s, and even some of the actings just kind of scream Wes Anderson movie. Like, I, I even did a double check, like I went to the IMDb to see if Wes Anderson had anything to do with this movie. And as far as I saw, he didn't. So it's just, it, it's a very similar style to Wes Anderson, and there's actually a video of if Wes Anderson directed X-Men, and what's in that video isn't far off from what's in Legion. It's a very different kind of superhero show. It's also very different from any X-Men we've seen as far as the movies or even the cartoons go. Not just focusing on more drama and a psychological thriller than action, it also focuses on an entirely new complement of mutants. Aside from a very subtle reference to a very popular character in X-Men, there are no mutants that I've seen before in the movies or in the cartoons, which is kind of refreshing. It's letting me get to know these new characters and these new abilities and what these new characters deal with and what their motivations are, because as much as I love seeing Wolverine, it, it's been 17 years of Wolverine, it's nice to see something different. What, for me, makes this show really stand out both among X-Men and among superhero shows is the way that it approaches mutation. X-Men has always been a parallel story to civil rights and equality, no matter how different they are from yourself, treating them with respect and treating them as an equal. Marvel actually based a lot of characteristics of Professor X and Magneto on civil rights leaders Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. They unfortunately did this with two characters of white men, but that's another, dis but that's an entirely different discussion. But in all of the movies and all of the cartoons that I've seen, that's how X-Men and mutants are approached. There's a huge theme of otherness, of them versus us, of the X-Men being different people and them just trying to survive and live peacefully in this, in this society and try to show that there, that while there are good mutants and bad mutants, the good mutants are just as good as normal people and stand up for what's right and try to find equal footing among non-mutant humans. While Legion does have a small theme of otherness in regards to the, the mutant slash human war they're fighting with this government agency, the biggest perspective of Legion is looking at mutation as mental disorders. Before the main character realizes that he is a mutant, he grows up thinking that he's schizophrenic, spending time on pills, in therapy, and in psychiatric wards. And even as his powers manifest as a kind of mental power, the show still focuses on his insecurities of his own mind, of how he sees himself, of how he sees the world, his depression, his anxiety, the voices he hears in his head. But the other characters and mutants can be parallel to different mental disorders as well. There's a character that represents a strong social anxiety. There's characters who kind of showcase delusions and mutants that could be compared to codependency. They even go so far as to have a sequence in the show where their mutations are kind of broken down into what they would translate to as mental disorders. It's a very original perspective to take for both a superhero show and for X-Men and, muta and mutants. And it's what makes this show stand out. Most of the characters have more of an inward reflection. Even Summerland, the, the mutant compound that they go to, the sessions that they have to try to help mutants with their mutations and with their abilities are very similar to therapy sessions or even memory regression. 
If you've been wanting to check out this show but have been waiting for it to finish so you could binge watch it, now's your chance. They just had their season finale. The, se the season is only eight episodes, which as much as I believe in quality over quantity as far as TV episodes go, I was kind of disappointed that there were only eight episodes. I wanted more. I wanted to see the next part of the story. But it left at a very good cliffhanger where a situation was resolved and it shows the and it gives a tease of the next situation that they're going to have to deal with which for me is the is the winning formula for how to do a tv show this show is just it's so different from any superhero show or comic book adaptation that you're going to see that it's less action and more psychological thriller and drama focusing on characters and story and i think the way that it approaches mutations as mental disorders is a brilliant parallel to not only to get away from the idea of otherness, but to show just how, just how similar mutants and normal people can be. If you watched Legion, what did you think? Let me know in the comments or on any of my social media and follow me on all the internet. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and check out my Patreon to support more of my future content and share the video around so others can join in the conversation. Visit templeofgeek.com, your one stop for all things geek, and subscribe to my channel to geek out some more. Thanks for watching and have fun. One, so Captain America, Thor, Hulk.